Hello mga Fuminatics! Welcome to the channel and we will be tackling about upgrading from HDD to SSD using Verbatim VI550 S3 SATA SSD with a capacity of 512GB. So, wala tayong patumpik-tumpik pa. Let's start the show and let's go full screen. Let me introduce you the ASUS Transformer Book Flip. TP300A and Verbatim VI550 S3 512GB SATA SSD Before we proceed with the storage upgrade from the hard disk drive to the SSD, make sure that the laptop base cover is facing us. Then, we're going to use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws. We're going to use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws and as well as the placeholder that came from the SSD packaging in order for us to safe keep those removed screws and not to accidentally lose them or misplaced. After we removed all of the screws, we're going to use the SSD packaging to safe keep those previously attached screws so we won't be able to accidentally lose or misplace them. We're going to use a pry tool to remove the base cover of our laptop. We're going to do this very slow so we won't be able to damage the internal parts of our laptop. Once we already lift up the base cover of our laptop, we slowly lift the cover and then this is the internal parts of our laptop. This includes the motherboard, processor, hard drive, battery, and RAM. Our goal for today is to replace the hard disk drive to the SATA SSD or the solid state drive. First, we're going to check how we'll be able to remove the hard disk drive from the laptop. First, we're going to remove the screws that is attached to the hard disk drive or SSD bracket. After we remove the screws, we're going to detach the SATA connector from the hard drive. Next is, we're going to slowly lift up the hard drive bracket. This one, we still have one more screw to remove. After we remove this that screw, we slowly lift up the HDD bracket along with the hard disk drive. Next is, we're going to remove the hard disk drive from the HDD bracket. So, we're going to remove the screws again from the hard drive that is attached to the HDD or SSD bracket. After we remove the screwdrivers from the HDD bracket, 
we're going to unmount the hardest drive and then mount the solid state drive the way that the original hard drive was previously mounted on the bracket. We're going to use the same screws to secure the solid state drive to the storage bracket. After we secure the solid state drive to the SSD bracket, as we attach all of the screws back, we are now ready to install this to the laptop. After we secure the SSD to the bracket, we are now ready to install it back to the laptop. As you can see, we're now going to install the SSD to the laptop. Next is, we're going to attach the SATA connector to the SSD and then properly place the SSD along with the SSD bracket to the laptop. After we place the solid state drive, we're going to use the same screws and put them back so we would be able to secure the solid state drive and the bracket to the laptop. After we install and secure the solid state drive, we're going to put back the base cover of our laptop and then put back all of the screws that was previously removed earlier.
After we put back all of the screws and secured the base cover, we are now ready to install Windows 10 on this laptop. We're going to do the boot up test to determine how fast the SATA SSD during boot times. As you can see, it took 48 seconds to boot up. Next test or the final test would be the crystal disk mark. This will determine the read-write speeds of the SATA SSD.
This is the test result from Crystal Disk Mark. It seems to me that this is a decent reading for a Verbatim VI 550S3 SATA SSD of 512GB. This concludes our tutorial of upgrading from HDD to SSD. Shout out to Mr. Ryan Gonzalez for providing us the laptop and Verbatim Philippines for the solid state drive. Subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you for your support. See you on the next video.